Did you send yeah. me the uh, link? Yeah. Hello, how's everyone doing? I'm here with special guests Jen Helfeld and mm -hmm. Stefan Kin St Kinsella. Um, Jen Helfeld uh, is an interviewer interviewing people with the Socratic method, and he is going to argue for limited government. And Stefan Kinsella is, going to argue, is an IP lawyer, and he is going to argue for anarchy. Uh, just for intellectual honesty, I should say what position I am in, and that is the position of uh, anarchy. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to give uh, Kinsella the, the round to argue for anarchy for the first ten minutes, so uh, go ahead. Okay, so, um, hey, Jan. Hi. Um, um, good to meet you in person. You and I just had a little round. This is a, a, the second attempt, right? So um, that's fine. I am a big admirer of yours. I admire your work uh, to fight uh, statism among Congress people, etc. So please keep that in mind in what I'm going to say, which is going to be very blunt and very um, uh, clear. Unlike a lot of your opponents, and unlike some of your um, the people that are on your side, um, I think we should be clear. Um, so I just want to be clear. Are we clear right now? Can everyone hear everybody? Are we online? Daniel? Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm looking at it. It's it still looks somewhat bad for some reason. I don't know what you. I can see you. Can, when I talk, can you see me? I see you right now, Jan. Yeah, but do you see me in the little box or in the big box? The big if box. Talk, the I little talk. box is blocked out. Well, okay. How how do how does it how do you go from one picture to the other? Uh, how is it, the it, it does it automatically? But if you go, okay, if you go on, on the YouTube okay. link that I just sent you, it it looks sort of weird for some reason. But hope. Okay, okay, Stefan, great. Uh, Stefan. Okay, so just to let people know what happened just now, because it will probably affect what I say, I just talked for 10 minutes, and we had a, a technical glitch, and so I'm redoing this right now. So Jan has already heard my spiel, and um, I will try to recapitulate my presentation, my perspective on this issue, um, which is the following. Number one, what's our debate? Our debate is about government, uh, limited government, Right, whether we're in favor of that or not. Now, I would just say quickly, I have a disagreement with the way the debate is framed because um, people like Jan, I won't accuse Jan of this, but people on his side will equivocate. Equivocate means to use words in two different ways, in a dishonest way. So if I say I am against government, then these people will say – you're against the governing institutions of society. In other words, you're against law and order. And if I say, well, no, I'm, I'm an anarchist, but I'm, a, I'm for law and order, then they say, well, you're for government, so you're, you're con contradicting yourself. So what they do is they have a loaded term called government, and they equate it with the state when it's convenient for them. So I don't want to go there, and I think Jan has actually been pretty clear about this and his definition of the state. So I think Jan's definition of the government is similar to what I would define the state as. As an anarchist, I, def I oppose the state because the state is the uh, monopolized institution or agency of force in a given uh, geographic region, Okay, and I think that's what Jan is in favor of. Now… I don't think Jan can justify this because if you are opposed to aggression as a general matter, which libertarians do, okay? No, aggression means, and let me note, it does not mean coercion, it does not mean force, it doesn't mean violence, because defensive force and force used in restitution <clears throat> can be justified according to libertarians. So we're not against force. We're against aggression, or as Ayn Rand called it, the initiation of force, right? Or as libertarians explain, we are against the uninvited or unconsented to use of someone else's physical property that is invading the boundaries of their property. That is what we mean by opposing aggression. That's what we're against. So I don't want to hear that… Um, um, that 
uh, I oppose aggression, but I'm in favor of self-defense, so there's a contradiction. I think Jan knows better than that, and I expect him not to raise that uh, uh, baseless accusation. Okay, so when we favor aggression, I'm sorry, when we favor anarchy, we're not in favor of a system. Now, Jan and conservatives and liberals and socialists and environmentalists and Democrats of all types are in favor of a system. They have in mind a vision of a system that they want to implement, and they're in favor of that for certain reasons. From the anarchist perspective, from the libertarian perspective, that, pers that, that viewpoint is bankrupt because um, they are all similar in that they all favor a regime in which private property rights are, are violated. Now, the anarchist doesn't say, I predict the following system will emerge, and so Jan's not going to confront me with the Socratic method, and I'm a law student. I'm a lawyer, so I know the Socratic method. He's not going to confront me with, well, tell me what your system will be like. I can't predict the future. In fact, as an Austrian, I know that I can't predict the future, but what I can say as an Austrian and as a libertarian… That is someone who, vi who, who respects individual property rights. I can say that I'm opposed to aggression. I want to be very simple and clear about this. I'm opposed to aggression. I can say it a hundred times if I need to. What that means is Mr. Jan Hellfeld cannot in this conversation come up with an argument that will tell me or tell the viewers… Why aggression is justified. He can't justify aggression, and I challenge him to do that, and he needs to do that if he's going to justify the state. The reason is the state necessarily employs aggression. I don't want to hear from Mr. Helfeld that we need the state. I don't care if we need the state. I want him to tell me why aggression is justified or that he doesn't care about aggression. In which case he's no better than the status that he pretends and claims to condemn when he interviews Miss Nancy Pelosi and other Congress critters like her. So to me, it's one or the other. Mr. Helfeld will tell me what aggression is, and please don't conflate it with self-defense, and he will tell me why it's okay that we can justify committing aggression… … in an institutionalized way in some cases. I want to hear this justification because if, if Jan Helfeld can't come up with a reason for that, he's admitting that the state is inherently unjustified. The state is a criminal organization, much like the mafia, and, and I'll add one more thing here. Um, um, people like Jan Helfeld… Use Ayn Rand's type of arguments, which are completely ridiculous and bankrupt, to argue for individual rights and against anarchy. And they argue that um, we can't have competing agencies for rights, that you can't have a free market for defense services, and yet they will never explicitly argue for the ultimate result of their reasoning, which is a one-world government. Now, on occasion, I have gotten people like Jan Helfeld to agree that the ultimate result of their reasoning is that we need to have a one-world government, but they come up with ad hoc reasons why we can't have it right now. Okay. Furthermore, we have anarchy today between the states. We have 200 states in the world. There's anarchy between the states. We have anarchy historically in the world. One, two, three hundred, four hundred years of anarchy, eight hundred years of anarchy in different societies. Anarchy of a certain fashion has worked. We have anarchy inside the state. That is, there is no super state above the United States or any other state that makes the, um, the actors of the state um, comply with the rules of that state. So we have some kind of anarchy even right now. And furthermore, we have widespread recognition of rights among Regular people, private law people, Daniel, Jan, presumably you, 
presumably you, Jan, wouldn't sneak into my house tonight if you could and steal my uh, my uh, my my Rolex watch or whatever. I don't know. I'll give you an opportunity to rebut that if you want to admit that you're a thief, but I'm I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt even though you're a statist, basically. Okay? So I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. You're welcome. You're welcome, Jan. So um, most Let me people remind are, you that we got to stay away from ad hominems. It's not in it's not in hominem. It's it's an it's a question about whether you are in favor <laughs> of the state or not, and you are welcome to respond to that in yeah. full in your time. But my point is that I am assuming we have about a minute left. Okay, I'm assuming that most of us are well-meaning, decent people, and that we respect each other's rights. Voluntarily, without your goddamn Randian state telling us what to do. Okay, so we have a certain degree of anarchy already. So what I want to know is um, um, whether you think aggression is justified, and whether you think the state commits aggression. It's a very simple question, and I would like you to not evade the question and to answer the question. Do you think aggression is justified, and do you think the state commits aggression? Very simple questions. I will turn it over to you, and go ahead and feel free to justify this, um, this, this horrible thing called the state, which you guys are in bed with, and we are not. Go ahead. Is it my turn? Yeah. First of all, the title of this debate no. is No Government versus Limited Government. You agreed to do this debate with this title, and apparently there shouldn't be any problem because you agreed with the definition of government, and when I define government, you hear state. But this is the name of this debate. Is The issue is what's better? Which is better, no government or limited government? So you are arguing for a system. I'm going to tell you which system you're arguing for. <clears throat> One that doesn't have a government. In other words, there's really only three possibilities in political theory. Either you have a government or you don't. That's the first decision. And if you have one, is it unlimited or is it limited? And if it's limited, what is the basis for the limitation? So you're arguing for a system. When you claim that you're not arguing for a system, you're just trying to avoid having to defend any position. Then there's nothing to debate because every political discussion is about well, what is better. What is a better social organization? You're claiming that the better social organization is no government, and I'm claiming that it's limited government. <clears throat> you're also arguing that you're against law because a law is a rule that is enacted and enforced on everybody in a given territory and you don't want that you don't want uh, the law of the land you want one security agency to make its rule a different security agency to make a different rule so that is not accepting the concept of a law which is apply, applicable to all the people in a given community, in a given territory. That's what law means. Now, that's different than a rule by the Kiwanis Club or a church or whatever. That's not applicable to everyone. So you are against law. And you say that the state is a criminal organization. I don't think so. But anyway, Why? let me say this. Let me say this. Uh, I sympathize with the anarchist anger at the state for the abuses of power and yeah. violations of our individual rights. I too am angry and have been doing battle to stop these violations and get rid of the welfare state. However, I caution you that in your haste to get rid of the welfare state, you don't choose something even worse, which is no government at all. I will attempt to prove that anarchy will necessarily result in gang warfare, many more violations of your individual rights, making a long, happy life less likely. Oh, now, Jesus you cannot shirk 
the responsibility of considering the natural consequences of not having a government by saying that this is a consequentialist argument and you are operating from first principles. Proper ethical principles are moral and correct because they integrate the long-term consequences of following the principle. There is no need to choose between the oh moral God. on the one hand are you reading something? and the consequences, really? i.e. the practical on the other. Following a true moral principle will produce good consequences yeah. in terms of optimizing the possibility of a long, happy life. Following a mistaken principle or not knowing the exceptions will produce bad consequences, and that is one way we know it is flawed. All valid principles are a means to achieving a proper ultimate end, which you have not, are not identified, which I have said is a long, happy life. This applies to the non-aggression principle as well. If you don't know the context, purpose, and long-term consequences that are integrated in the non-aggression principle, you will not be able to apply it properly, oh. and you will erroneously conclude that it is in conflict with a limited government. If you want to live well and optimize your possibility of a happy life, you need to protect your life, bodily integrity, liberty, and property. This debate is about how your life, liberty, and property are more protected with a limited government or without any government, and in your words, a state. In my view, a government that is created to protect your right to life, liberty, and property and is constitutionally limited to this function oh, offers more protection than no government at all. Oh, Let's what? see why. A mm -hmm. society with no governmental monopoly of major force will degenerate into gang warfare. There will always be some human beings that choose predation as a means to survive. Presently, these domestic and foreign criminals are held in check by the fact that they have no possibility of overcoming the police power of the state in a direct confrontation. However, once the state is removed, they can and will have oh, enough God. weapons to destroy individuals and weak security agencies that refuse to surrender their property. Thus, everybody's life and property something. will be less safe. Please do not interrupt me. I didn't interrupt you. Yes. That Moreover, what are you reading? You're, uh, excuse you're me, reading uh, moderator, will you tell the yeah. other debater to be Stephane, quiet? He, he has two minutes. You'll, you'll ask No, your no, you now. cannot interrupt. And I, you, I, oh, Jesus Christ. Mm. Go ahead. Keep reading your, your text. Stefan, just, get, just give him a few more minutes to make his point. Moreover, criminals and foreign tyrants will be incentivized to obtain more destructive weapons to increase their pool of victims, creating a mini arms race. Criminal gangs we have today, like the Mafia, will get military weapons so they can extort and plunder their fellow citizens. They will attack individuals and weak security agencies, as well as each other. They, you don't need too many of them to miscalculate and attack organizations of relatively equal strength to have gang warfare in every city. If you think things are bad now, just wait until you have anarchy. If you want to see what it would be like, just go to any city ghetto where the police refuse to give protection and you'll see a neighborhood divided in territorial gangs where everybody's life and property are at peril. Or go to any place in the world where the state police power is non-existent, such as Colombia jungles or the border between Afghanistan and Pakistan, and you'll see the same phenomenon. Furthermore, foreign tyrants and criminal organizations from other countries will attempt predatory strategies against us. Predators love relatively unprotected wealth to plunder. We would be a magnet for all such criminals and tyrants. Only a government with modern military forces can effectively deter their invasions and extortions. Security services simply can't do the job. For instance, what do you propose a small town to do when they receive an extortion note from some 
criminal saying, if you don't pay us a billion dollars, we will attack you with a guided missile. You don't have a, the U.S. Army to protect you and to retaliate and to stop them. You have to uh, deal with yourself with your security agencies. Secondly, disagreements, and this is the most important thing, between rational citizens will also lead to gang warfare. Most people will naturally act to form groups or alliances in an attempt to enforce agreements, protect themselves, and punish aggressors or swindlers. There will necessarily be differences of opinion regarding who is right and who is wrong in various conflicts between members of opposing alliances. Some of these alliances will try to use physical force to make the member of the other alliance comply. The other alliance may resist with force. This, so, and you will have a little war. With thousands of alliances and millions of disagreements, you only need a small percentage of people to decide to use physical force to end up with the bloody hell of war everywhere. Under anarchism, every kind of disagreement has the potential of becoming a mini-war. Disagreements like whether somebody is a murderer or not, whether they have violated a contract or not, whether they stole the money or not, whether the action should be a crime or not, whether the punishment is appropriate or not. Because there is no law. You don't agree that there should be one law that everybody has to follow in the whole territory. It's, uh, one neighborhood has one law, the next neighborhood has a different law. With millions of disagreements and some people's decision to try to impose their view by force, you will have many wars everywhere. These many wars will have collateral damage in the form of innocent victims, as I well think, as drawing I, I think it's other probably people. It's time, fight. right, Daniel? Some I, of I, these fights. Will you stop interrupting me? Well, I think your time's some up. The, so that's I the moderator's job. Let him do his he job. Have a minute. He has another minute. Let the moderator well, do his job. Ago, so when's it going to be up? I didn't interrupt you, did I? No, you just want to take my money from me from by taxes. No, so no, I guess you want even. to just attack and whatever, but you don't want to follow the rules. And that's one of the big problems I have with anarchists. They never want to follow the rules they agree to. And in an anarchist situation, there's no way of making them follow the rules because you can't have a, a government to enforce the rules. That's probably why you like it so much. Yeah, that's, anyway. a, that's a really good argument for anarchy. And, and so, okay, uh, he, you want to interrupt it? It's my turn to talk. I don't know if it is your turn. Your format. It's up to Rothschild. I, I will do a good format, and you should stick to it. Stefan, come on. I mean, you have to be respectful. Uh, he has another minute. I, you know, I mean, I, I don't think you should. You, go should ahead. Interrupt. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jan. Finish your minute. These many wars will have collateral damage in the form of innocent victims as well as drawing other people into the fight. Some of these fights will become feuds and vendettas like the Hatfield and the McCoys passed on from generation to generation. In contrast, under a limited government, disagreements are limited to the parties and they have finality. Finally, oh, under oh. under a anar under anarchy, we would not reap the benefits of free markets we now take for granted. Free markets do not work optimally if they can't count on the enforcement of contracts and agreements. This is evidenced by all of history, and a visit to any third world country where the legal oh, system God, does sir. not work well. If you cannot trust the contract will be enforced you'll be very reluctant to invest or contract. So, in conclusion, in conclusion, our liberty, our life, liberty and property would be less safe under anarchism as a result of a proliferation of gang warfare. Oh, for God's extortion, sake. Extortion, extortion by domestic and foreign criminals and a loss of benefits of the benefits of the free market. And that's why I'm against it, because oh my God. There, will be there will be more initiation of physical force under anarchism, All right, under, time. there's no government, rather than less. And that's why everybody panics, why the word is anathema, why they hate it and fear it, because everybody knows that the state of nature is hell and brutish, just like Hobbes said. 
short and brutish, and people run from it like a monster. So that is the that that truth that more people's individual rights will be violated under an anarchist scenario where there is no government is why they hate it so much and why you have so much difficulty even using the word time I'm sure you have questions that you want to ask who your turn to ask who? questions it's your turn to ask him questions we're gonna do question and answer now well, okay, a couple of questions. Um, I asked a question earlier, which Jan didn't answer, which I predicted he would not answer. Um, it's a very simple question. question. The question is, do you believe aggression is justified, and do you believe the state commits aggression? It's very extremely simple, which I know really freaks out you status because you want to support the state. Um, um, you know, well, you, a, can I answer the question, or you want to make a statement? I would like you to answer the question. Do you think aggression okay, is well, I, Okay, well, I, I heard the question. State I, commits aggression. Uh, That's I, what I would like you to answer. Go ahead. Okay. When human beings organize like our founding fathers did to create a government that is limited to protecting the individual rights of the citizens, when they organize and they request a social institution to protect their individual rights, they are not being aggressed. There is no initiation of force against them. It's a service that they want and know they need. So all the people that want a government and are paying for it are not being aggressed, and there's no initiation of force even remotely conceivable with them. Except for the now, slaves. Now, when there, there, there are what? There are. Do you want to ask a second question or what? Yeah, you I don't want know. To you, my answer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What are you going to do? Except uh, for the slaves. I, I, Go I, ahead. Go ahead. To follow the format. You agree yeah, to fuck the format. the format. And I'm following it. You're having trouble following it. Uh, this is. I'm answering your question. There is no aggression when people agree and to form a government to protect their individual rights like the United States did in its constitution and this limited government has created tremendous benefits for people uh, uh, since it ha since it occurred so there is I don't see any initiation of physical force there of course you don't and so that's right and so they are doing what they consider to be optimal in order to have their rights optimally defended, like I said in my statement, in order to optimize the possibility of a happy life, you need to have your rights protected. And the consequences of not having a monopoly of force in the government to enact and, and also to enforce laws results in more initiation of force uh, rather than less. So the, one, you know, the optimum possibility is to have a limited government where you will have the least amount of initiation of physical force in a society. That's what certain people believe. Now, you and I were born in a society that had that implied uh, view, that implied consent, which you have agreed that there is an implied consent there. I didn't, and, agree. I, I didn't and, agree with anything. Well, you, well, I, in your writings, you have said that there is implied consent of the government no, by the masses. No, no. Have you said that or not? No. Oh, I, well, I'll, I'll quote it to you exactly. The, the article that you requested that I read about uh, your position on anarchism says exactly that. No, so if doesn't. you forgot what you wrote, then that's not even my problem. Anyway. No, your problem every, is you're defending statism. Everybody is born into a, this a system that either has a government or it doesn't. It's either limited or it's not. And when you are a baby... Well, we're talking about the state of the government. I'm just asking you. Okay, well, I'm, at, I'm explaining why there is no uh, initiation of force and what the situation is. People think that under the government, a uh, limited government, they will have their rights protected. They agree to it, so they're, the government is performing a service to them. 
when the government taxes them. You mean the U.S. federal government? When the government taxes them for this protection, then the the government is only uh, taking the money that is necessary to pay for the service that was uh, asked for. Is that is that what you think happens nowadays in 2014? No, I think we have a mixed economy and a mixed system now, which has deviated substantially from a limited government. That's why I'm totally unhappy with it, and that's why I do battle with the status. You keep calling me a status. I'm not a status. I believe yes, you are. As the as the debate says, in limited government, you apparently can't distinguish between limited government and unlimited government. But I can, and it makes a whole lot of difference in everybody's life. And if you don't know that, that difference, I can give you a lot of historical examples of what the difference is and what the consequences are. I just want to make sure the audience knows what your position is. Are, are you saying that, the, that a, a limited wait a minute, government... Wait a minute, moderator. He has a right to ask me a second question. I'm ready to listen to it. All right, we're not going back and forth? Okay. No, no. It, well, I, I, I'm okay with Daniel asking... Jan. Well, of course, then you want a two on one guy. No, I'm, not, I'm not asking. I'm not asking Jan any questions. I, I'm, I'm just not making sure. Two, I'm not going to debate two anarchists at once. I'm just going to debate one anarchist at a time. I'm not asking Jan any questions. Well, I'm. I'm saying there were, we agreed to a format, and it's your turn to ask another question if you want to. That's your job, uh, Daniel. That's his name. That's right. Yeah. Right. So. L let me just quickly just say something. And oh, you Jan. want to say something is not part of the format? You're supposed to ask a second question. I'm ready to hear a second question. That's what I meant by say something. Are you ready for a question or not? Mm-hmm. So, Jan, I you am. have studiously avoided my questions, which I predicted you would. You have never explained why aggression is justified. You just talk about the problems of anarchy and the problems of competing jurisdictions. Okay, so my question for you is this: You seem to have some notion in mind that a limited government is both a conceivable and possible thing, and a good and a good thing. Now, I dispute all three of those uh, assertions, but I would ask you. What makes you think that we can have a limited government? What is a limited government? Keeping in mind that every government is limited because… So those, uh, so you're, you're asking a lot of different questions. Uh, you asked three I, 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 know, I know it can be confusing. Uh, I mean, uh, one question at a time, yeah, so I'm happy to answer what, them. What, what makes you think… The question you know, that you want government. to answer, that whether, it, uh, whether limited government is possible? Is possible by… You, say, you said it wasn't possible, so I'm, that was one of the things you wanted me to answer or not? What makes you think that it's, it's, it's a good thing and justifiable? And okay, possible. okay, yeah, well, right. okay, those three things in one question, fine. Whether it's possible, a good thing, and justifiable. Uh, the, the answer is yes, of course it's possible. Uh, we came pretty close to it when we had the Constitution of the United States. Except for the slaves. And that was that was a contextual error yeah, that unfortunate. Yeah, no, unfortunate. Days, uh, right. And, people, yeah. But listen, you know, are you going to let me answer or are you going to interrupt every time I'm answering? I don't know. Let's have a meta conversation. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, this is the problem I have with Atticus. You agree to a format, but then yeah, you won't I'm follow sure. it. You have a problem with rules. Well, that means that aggression is justified. You don't want government. Man. You don't want any law because you have a problem with rules. And every time I uh, debate an anarchist, they won't follow the rules. Well, Jan, Jan, you're a liar because I'm not against law. I'm a lawyer, unlike you. I don't pretend to be a lawyer. I'm actually a real lawyer. I'm not oh, against really? law. Well, uh, don't tell the judge that you don't that you don't want a government <laughs> or a state. Yeah, yeah. Fuck the judge. Anyway. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna answer. I'm uh, I'm answering. You. I answered your question. Yes, I think it's possible, and you can have more or less of a limited government. Unfortunately, we have strayed to less. We have a lot of redistribution of wealth. We have a, a lot of victimless crimes that should not be crimes. I try to uh, fight against these things because they're. They depart from the model that I think optimizes uh, my possibility of a happy life and everybody else's. 
with optimum protection of your individual rights, which is, which is that the government is limited to protecting the individual rights of the citizens. And so, uh, is it justified? Yes, and it has produced the best quality of life so far. The history of uh, anarchism before any governments in Africa was total misery, tribal warfare, it, it, it produced nothing. It took a state to get us out of there. Unfortunately, a status, tyrannical state like the pharaohs in Egypt or the Mesopotamian uh, civilization to even get us started. And the world has never known more prosperity and welfare since the creation of modern states and specifically since the ex experiment of the United States with limited government which showed to the whole world the enormous amount of benefits that you can have when you have a government that is limited to the protection of the individual rights of the citizens with those uh, defects and mistakes that they made and that we both agree should uh, be removed. Next question. Next question. Yes. So you don't you don't you don't want to him ask you one and you ask him one. You just want him to ask you all the ones first. He's supposed to ask me twelve. He has a right to ask me twelve questions, and I'm following the format. That's what I we agreed to. Sure. So I'm I'm have, waiting for him to ask me another question. So you actually expect me to ask you twelve questions in a row, and then you ask me twelve in a row? Is that is that the that, format? That was the uh, format that. Uh, no, no. That 12, we said 12, you, 12, 12 me, 12 you, you got to be kidding. What? You have to be kidding, Jan. About what? This is ridiculous. You can ask me a question now. Go ahead, ask me a question. But you don't want you don't want to follow the format. I, I don't think, think the format was I think 12, what he's saying is we'll ask for me, a question, 12, but it'll be back and forth instead of just one person doing all at once. The, the, the format is that he gets to ask 12 questions and then I get to ask 12 questions. That is a format. 12 in a row for me? 12 in a row yeah, for me? Absolutely. Well, as an anarchist, that's bullshit. What's bullshit? That you agreed to this format or, or, or you want to deviate from it? Oh my god, this is a. You know. You you want like a free for all with no rules? That's basically. I, I think what he wants is look. We can still have the same here. amount of questions. What? I think we can still have the same amount of questions where everyone asks. No one is short sighted. And no one gets to talk. At no one gets to ask less questions. But I think he wants it more debate where he asks a question, you respond, and well, maybe he should, if he wanted more. that, if he wanted that, he should have uh, said. Listen, this format I would like to change, and I I don't want to agree to it. And I would have been open to changing it. I was flexible, but he said he was fine with the format. So hey, I'm assuming yeah. that he's going to uh, no, uh, comply nobody, with his nobody agreement. Nobody cares what you think, really, seriously. It's irrelevant what you think. What? It's irrelevant what you think. The question is, what do we do now? Okay, make what make your mind up. Be okay. a big be a big boy. Make your mind up. And, and, uh, not, oh, and come on, let's have a civilized a debate. Come on, let's have a civilized debate. Let's no, it can't be civilized with this guy. It can't be. <laughs> really? Yeah. You, you've been interrupting him a lot. You know, he hasn't really been interrupting you. Yeah, you know what? Interrupting is less than taxing, okay? So Jan Helfeld wants to tax you and me, Daniel, okay? Now you want to make a statement. You want to argue... When you're supposed to be asking questions, oh, I, I know, I know that you guys don't like, don't like your don't follow the rules. Oh, you don't want you don't, don't want your positions to be made clear. I understand that. I want my position. You, we sent you a format. You agreed to it. It's just like Molly Nukes, who in the middle of the interview uh, it's, debate, it's Molly what, 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 what are you? What are you to follow Molyneux. the format and said, I don't care what the Molyneux. format is. I'm not going to let, uh, let you ask me any more questions. Look, That's this, is, this isn't fair to the viewers. I don't think it's fair to either of you. I, th I think it's up to you. I, I think we should either follow the format or we can do a back and forth. Okay, I want to ask I, you a I'm, question. I'm not, not going to ask him 12 questions in a row with five-minute, two-minute responses. That's ridiculous. So I will not do that. So, right, so 
So let's do a back and forth, Jen. Is that okay with you? Something that Jan agrees with, but I will not do 12 questions in a row to Jan and have him ask me 12 questions. It's ridiculous. Jan, what? is it okay if we if we do you ask one, he asks one, you ask one, he asks one? Is we that only okay? asked three or four. So you can ask three or four now. Oh I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you the spot. Oh, wow. Well, I want to be generous to both of you. I want to make yeah. both. See, I'm trying to be uh, making everyone happy. Yeah, I understand. Uh, you want to please everyone. Fine. Uh, look. Okay, so you can ask three or four in a row. Okay. Uh, Hopefully you know, no interruptions is your name card. Okay. Uh, I, I, in the, just for the benefit of the viewers, since uh, you don't want to follow the format and you say you won't do it, so they can hear something. I'm going to be flexible and change the agreement so that it suits you more. Thank you. Is it ever justified to initiate physical force against someone who has not violated anybody's rights? I'm, I'm sorry to give you a clear answer because I know you don't want these, but the answer is no, Jan. <laughs> Go on to the one, too. Okay, if you were dying of thirst, would you steal some water if the only person that had some refused to give or sell you any? I don't know, but what's the relevance, Jan? Why don't you tell us what the relevance, the relevance of, of is? The relevance is moral more, question. Uh, uh, you don't know the answer to that question. You don't know whether you would steal it or not. Is that your answer? My answer is you're asking a bullshit question, and it has no relevance to what we're talking about. Okay. Uh, Moderator, I want you to admonish Stefan for ad hominems. He's calling me. Stefan, a I think what I, Stefan, uh, no. I think what Jan is trying to say, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, is he's trying to say, look, there are certain scenarios w where if you feel in danger, you would vi you would violate other people's rights, and he's trying to give one to say, well, if you think it's okay in this scenario, then why is it not okay in other scenarios? Am I is that is that a fair? Is that am I being fair in interpreting your question that way? Yeah, but th this is not the point. The point is that he has to answer the questions. He can't just say, that's a bullshit question I don't want to answer. He did I mean, answer it. He said it's not just well, that, and, I, and you're supposed to enforce the rules, which is... I'm okay, okay. okay. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Go ahead. Ask your question again. Go ahead. Let's try it. If you're dying of thirst, would you try to steal some water if the only person that had some refused to give or sell you any? I don't know. Right. So if you were drowning and there was a boat that uh, wasn't your property and you tried to grab onto it and the guy said, hey, that's my boat and uh, you're violating my property rights, would you let go of the, of the boat and drown or would you hang on and try to save your life? I don't know. Well, you know, I'm really glad that I'm having this debate with you because I'm going to save your life, Stefan. Mm -hmm. And so this is going to, the, the gratitude that you're going to give me is so much that it will be worth this debate. <laughs> apparently, you don't realize that under duress, you should not hesitate to violate somebody's rights. So if, they, if you're dying of thirst or you're going to drown and your choice is to violate somebody's property rights, or not, uh, and on the one hand, uh, and save your life, or drown on the other is such an easy choice. But you know, you haven't thought it through, have you? So I suggest that you think it through. So when you reach a extreme duress situation like that, you won't lose your life uh, thinking, "Oh my gosh, should I violate their rights or not?" And by that time, you drown. Okay. So my response is, Jan, I suggest that someone like you, a washed-up lawyer, should not challenge <laughs> the legal now theory. Now that's an ad hominem, you see? The, yeah. well, it's, it's not, it's no name it, by the way, it's not, ad, ad, it's not ad hominem. It's it ad is ad hominem. hominem. You're saying that I'm a washed up lawyer. No, <laughs> you're, you're actually I, mispronouncing it, which is... You have no idea by uh, career or what yeah, I want to do. I have do. a pretty good Please idea. Smile, you're basically a nobody or loser. Okay, so basically you don't know what you're talking about. You don't even pronounce ad hominem properly, okay? Oh, really? And, Come well, on. that's fine, but you're the one who makes the ad hominems, and the moderator is supposed to prevent them and cause you to act out. Come on, come on, okay. please. Can, let's just answer the question without, without, without calling. No, you. because it's a loaded question. I'm not going to answer that question because he is. <laughs> 
just like a, have, like a little status to you were question. basically <laughs> you're trying to you're trying to argue for the state I'm saving your life buddy and you know yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the price it. of it, the price you don't is. Know what you to do do. when you're under extreme duress? Whether you should violate somebody's rights? You haven't even considered that. My goodness, this is the most elementary thing. If you had thought about, if you haven't thought about it before, you should certainly think about it now for your family and your children that you think just, I was going to abuse before. Just let me know when I can speak. I'm saying that I asked you a question, and I. Uh, if you're dying of thirst, would you try to steal some water if the only person that had some refused to give or sell you any? And I like that one. I can ask you any number of scenarios which imply extreme duress, and you simply apparently don't know what you would do. Can I answer? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. So, so my answer is that you are doing what status always do. You come up with situations. You're trying to justify aggression, and you won't do it directly because you can't do it because you are a craven, coward, defender of the state. Come on. Uh, that's no, 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 no. I mean that directly and explicitly, and I will but repeat. Right. You, you are, those are at and it's not an, it's, it's, it's I'm not asking the moderator an, to stop you from doing that because Christ, that's the it's not at Hanum. But you don't care about the rules. You are happy to use ad hominem uh, arguments and to insult people in a debate, and that's basically because you don't respect any rules. Hmm. Nevertheless, you cannot justify aggression against people or property, and you try to do it as some kind of neo-Randian sycophant, and you're wrong. <laughs> you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't justify the state. You haven't tried to do it. You haven't even tried to Look. explain why the state is justified. Let me ask you a question. No, no, uh, you're so you're no, not. No, 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 no. no. Uh, a simple question. This is a double standard question. that I see in you. You expect I'm gonna, I'm you gonna will not answer my you question, you and you expect question. me to answer your questions? Yes. If you don't answer this question, really? I'm, that's I'm, the problem with anarchists. It's all one way. Okay. My goodness. So that, show, that shows well, that the state is fair. justified. That's fine. Well, look, I'm going to tell you. Uh, at least when I debated Larkin Rose. He said he would die. He would go ahead and die rather than violate other people's rights. Now, I, in a very nice way, and he's a very respectful person, and I'm afraid maybe he would die. But most people that say they would die would not. But let's, I think he might have been one of the few that would. I'm, 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 look, look, Jan, Jan, I'm not, I'm not going to let you. Help Jan, help him see. I'm not going to let you. Hey, Jan, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to. I'm not going to let you do this. You do this all the time. I know your technique. You're not going to pontificate. You're not going to grab the mic. So you, <laughs> it, you answer the question, or I'm done. That's it. Oh, you're you're already running just like Molly Nooks. You can't take the heat. It's Mike. not Molly Nooks. I mean, you don't know how to pronounce words. Uh, agreed to format. You have a fake law degree for some I asked no, you a question, but here's no, here's the thing. You say you won't answer no, my question. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you pontificate. That's it. You're done. Are, are you going to answer my question or not? Come on, What's let's be question? respectful. Give me your What's question. Yes no. no. Daniel, fuck no. Jan, give me your question in 10 seconds, and I'll answer it. If you give me a coherent question in 10 seconds, and that's it. I, I gave you a question. If you're give dying of thirst. Give me a question right now. Give me the question. If you were dying of thirst, would you try to steal some water if the only person that had some refused to give it or sell you any? It's a stupid question, and you're reading it. I don't know the answer because you haven't specified the context. Okay, so I just I told know. you My it's answer. the context. No, you didn't. And you want the broad category if it makes it any you're, easier? You're not, a, you're not a lawyer. If you if you if you were a real lawyer, you would know that this is not a real context. So. <laughs> Are you going to permit this ad hominem? Uh, you know, it's not ad hominem. I mean, do you even know how to read? Come on, read the word. It's ad hominem. Well, look, you see, all this, all you can do is insult, and that's the problem with it's, anarchists. Unfortunately, it's easy argument. to do. Well, if, if if anarchists can insult people, that means anarchism is wrong, right? No, no is that, that doesn't mean that it's wrong, but it makes it disagreeable to debate. <laughs> Yeah, it's disagreeable to be taxed by you motherfuckers. So let me ask oh you a question. Oh my goodness, now you want to start with obscenities. <laughs> no, you start with theft, I start with obscenities. How about that? What? Let me ask you a question. 
How can you? How can so you? You want to ask? You, so this is uh, this is really interesting to me. So you expect me to answer your question? I don't expect you anything except statism from people like you. I don't expect anything from people like you. You are nothing. You are a, you, you are nothing. Any more insults? <laughs> nothing. Bullshit. Yeah, well, well, you know, be, being stated. I mean, look, when people, people start with people, insults like this, it just means that they're well, bankrupt. Let, 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 yeah, let, let, or, maybe, or maybe they're right. How about that? Well, look, no, please, let me say something. Don't have any good okay? argument. Let me say something, because uh, I, I don't feel this debate is being very fair. Look, people have the position that they have, and and the I think the goal in a debate is 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 not insulting people, not and 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 come on, Kinsella, you were you you itself told me that you were uh, a minarchist before, and that you were a Randian. Did you believe aggression was justified then? No, people, you came, you changed your view based on using, based on reason and evidence. So you, you respond based on reason and evidence, and not insults, please. I asked you the question for the third time. You said you were going to answer it, and then you didn't. <laughs> What's the question? What? What's the question? You don't. Re I've said it three times. You don't remember the question? No wonder you can't answer Repeat it. it. Go ahead. If you were dying of thirst, would you steal? Would you try to steal some water? If the only person that had some refused to give or sell you any. Maybe I don't know. Depends on the context. I don't know. So that so this I'm I'm saying that it's a good thing for you to consider these things, because you might end up in a situation where you're in extreme duress, and you might have to decide: should I violate this person's property rights or not? So, so are you and saying you that you haven't decided justified? that? In the meantime, you're going to die of thirst or drown, as the other example that I gave you. You better so, think it through. And if you did, well, well, you you better think it through, motherfucker. Are you saying that the state is justified? <laughs> Are you gonna let this guy continue you to? You, you don't talk to me like this. Uh, you don't talk to me like this. <laughs> That's one of the rules. You're not supposed to insult the opponent. Did you know well, that? Did you well, read the rules? Well, didn't try to take my property away from me, and then then I have, what property have I tried to take away from you? Oh, I don't know. My my money from taxes. Really. Well, that would yeah, be a feat. If I could do that through the internet, I would really yeah, be. Yeah, you're 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 supporting the state, aren't you? What, what should be touching you and even close to you? How could I even uh, attempt to take your property when obviously I'm an honest, straightforward guy? Even if you can't recognize it, and I all the money that I've made, I've made honestly. I never stole anything no, from anyone. No, you're not honest if you support the federal <laughs> okay. government. Okay, okay. No, but you can't recognize that. That's right. You do, you cannot recognize that. So yeah, because I'm a real libertarian, unlike yeah. you, Jamie. Oh my! Come goodness. on, come on. This is not a macho fest. All right, let's no, engage. No, it's, no, no, it's not. No. no, it's not, Daniel. But it's it's a principle. It's about principles. Okay. Well, I'm, if you can, if you continue this debate and answer my questions, you know. Okay. So this question you will not answer. First, you say you won't answer. Then you say you don't know. Then you say you won't answer. Then you say you don't know. Well, if you don't know, this is an important thing to I'm, figure out. Okay. I'm trying to be fair. I'm trying to give people a chance to talk. I'm going to ask you another question since you won't answer that one or you don't know what the answer is, one or the other. Here we okay. go. There's two possibilities. Either these dispute resolution organizations have nuclear weapons or they don't. Let's analyze them separately to see what the results are. If they didn't have any nuclear weapons, what would happen, or what would you do, or what would you suggest we do, when Putin or Kim Jong-il or whatever other tyrant threatened to nuke your city if you don't pay $10 billion? Well, you say these distribute dispute resolution organizations. Which ones are you talking about? I never mentioned The ones that I assume are going to exist in your anarchist scenario since there is no state. Why do you assume that? I, I never I never said that. All I said well, was... If there aren't, if the, if the, you don't think people will organize to have alliances and to try to uh, protect themselves and get security somehow? What I said was that aggression is unjustified and that the state commits aggression. So now, you, I, I'm waiting for you to rebut one of those two claims, and you 
He, well, we're, we're in the middle of a debate, and uh, no, we're not. Uh, no, there's a I rebuttal. haven't claimed that there's, there's a rebuttal a period. But I asked you the question. So, in other words, you no, 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 no. You said, will there be any security alliances that I have? Or are you asking me for a prediction? Is that what you're asking me for? A society. Are you asking me for a prediction? Is that what you're saying? I'm asking you. Uh, take either one. Let's uh, let's assume that there are. That's a since apparently assume you don't know what? there will be any. You're you. You don't know whether there will be any. Is that your answer? Do you know? No, I don't. And I, since I'm a rational person, I analyze both possibilities, so I cover the whole range well, of possibilities. For, the for first me? possibility that I'm asking you to consider hey, Jan, is Jan, that they don't I, I know you're used to doing this, but you're not going to do it with me. You're used oh. to walking all over people. But let me tell you something. You are assuming that there's going to be a limited government and that we're going to have democracy, and we're going to have a way to limit the government. I'm not assuming me... that. I'm asking you a question about, under your scenario, but I, I no didn't give you, I didn't didn't give no you a scenario. State. I did not give you a scenario. Yes, you did. You, you, are, you That's your... No, I said, aggression are, is, I said aggression is wrong. You that's are I, arguing the position, whether you know it or not, that no government is better than limited government. That's no, what the debate. No, that's the title of the fact, debate. That was fact, the debate proposition yeah. that I sent to you. Well, and you Jan, the debate. In the beginning of this so-called debate, I specifically said I am not going to defend or argue against government because people like you will debate about the word government. And I, I said my opposition is against aggression and the state, which is the but institutionalized. You also State is the same thing as the way I use the word government, so there's no real difference. Yeah, and now you're doing the opposite of what I So predicted. what is the problem? I mean, the point is, is there going to be what I call a government and what you call a state that has a monopoly, a major force, and that has as its a function to enact and enforce rules that apply to the whole territory that is in question, the whole country or the whole society? Okay, and let me ask you a simple question. Oh my God! So I just asked you a question. I will clarify my question. I don't think your question was clear. In your my scenario, question? there would no be no such social institution. Is that correct, Jan? I'm going to end this discussion if you won't discuss with me, and that's fine with me because I have really nothing to gain by this because you're basically well, you just… you have a lot of surprises left. You're just right in the middle, and you, there's… My, my question is… You, you can learn a lot. You can figure out you know, whether you should initiate force if you're under extreme duress or not. I, I'm pretty or sure what? already that I shouldn't initiate force, unlike you apparently. Yeah, well, so, I, I'm telling you up front, if my life's at stake and I have to choose between drowning… And uh, violating the guy's boat uh, rights, property rights, I will hang on to his boat if I can. Well, how, how does that… But you, how does that, you're going to drown because you're right. going to just think about it and wonder what to do. How and does that determine… I'm grateful that I'm bringing this up that you haven't even considered. How does that determine what rules we should have in society? Well, it, well it, it, what it determines is that you don't understand the principle… Um, no, 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 no. I'm going to no, tell you if you want to know. That's not an answer to the question. Answer. You don't know the context in which… That's not an answer to the question. You don't… The thing is you don't know how that's this principle an answer to the question. You don't know the context. It's a contextual absolute. So it is absolutely true that you should not initiate force against other people under normal circumstances, normal. meaning outside… Normal. Thank you, one, John. One situ scenario like extreme duress, but you and apparently oh, a lot of other Americans oh, so, so, don't so know. So I, I know you got that from law school. With these your, principles, as your, and your, this principle as an irreducible nice principle. Diploma. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe? You're not going to answer my question. You don't have a coherent question. Do you? Do you I, think my questions are not coherent, so you don't have to answer them. Yours are coherent, so I have to answer. That's exactly. You, exactly. Do, do you think that the government has the right to? <laughs> <laughs> you really expect me to answer any question that you ask? I don't expect I anything. Ask. I expect of statists that they're going to be in favor of the state, which is what you're doing. Oh so the question is: Are you? Do you think you can come up with a reason why the government has the right to take property from people, which they call taxes? Yes or no? Look. Uh, uh, so Daniel, no. Okay. Look, Daniel. Yes. Okay. 
Kinsella refuses to follow the format, even the amended format that you suggested we follow. I you think he's answering your question, but I think his answer, and correct questions. me if I'm wrong, I think his answer is, correct me if I'm wrong. No, no, but wait a second, Daniel. You said, I accepted, in view of the fact that certain people are listening to this, that we would change the format right in the middle to suit Kinsella because he's not willing to comply with the agreement. And he isn't willing to comply with the amended agreement either. So are you going to ask him to follow the rules or not? I think he answered your question. Oh, no, he did. I asked him. He did. I think his answer was, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, his answer was, what does that have to do with anything? Because whether you have a government or not, people can still commit those actions. So what? how is a government going to, what does that have to do with anything? No, he, I, it's unrelated, I, right? Is that, is that a, pretty much your... Response? I should have debated you. You're clear. <laughs> I, I asked. Again. Let's back off. I'm willing to go with whatever Daniel says. Okay. And <laughs> ask me twelve questions in a row. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so the answer is uh, uh, that. What would you do? Is it? Uh, would you? Without a government, when a foreign tyrant threatens, like Putin or Kim Jong-il, that have nuclear weapons, they send you an extortion note. What you propose, the society of the United States now with no longer a military or a government to defend themselves, what should they do? Well, what do you mean, what would I do? You mean as if an they don't have military, there's two scenarios. They either don't have uh, nuclear weapons or they do. I'm saying, what do you propose that, that the society, the people who are receiving this extortion note, do when they don't have any nuclear weapons to defend themselves? Well, let me and ask you. The other person can extort and bully them because they cannot retaliate. Well, what's what's the relevance of that question? Or is it a loaded question? I mean, what's the relevance? What what are you trying what what are you trying to ask? Are you I'm what trying to ask your, exactly what is your what positive argument? Hold on a second. You are supposed to be arguing for the state. And no, I'm arguing for limited government. You keep which saying it, that which, I'm a status, but I don't. Those well, are the guys that I'm battling all the wait, time. Status. <laughs> isn't that a state? What? Isn't that a state? Yes, I I believe in limited government, and that is a kind of government. And so, okay. if you no, want no, to no, call say this, right. but you think that that's the same as uh, the Nazis and right. So, so uh, is it? Uh, no, uh, I don't. Uh, I don't say that they're all the same. Right. No, right. I don't, I don't okay. say they're all the same. I, I know. No, no, they all. There are many different views about what a kind of state is optimum. I believe in limited government, and you are advocating a position of. It's preferable, better not to have a government, which no, is the anarchist no, position. That's and not you, right. You cannot, I tried, I tried yourself, you cannot shirk the responsibility of the consequences of the social organization that you are recommending by saying you don't have a position. If you don't have a position, what are you debating? You're debating My nothing. Is that aggr aggression is unjustifiable. You, oh, you, you said you don't even know if you would commit aggression if your if your life depended on it. But that's so because you're, you you're, that's because so you're, you're arguing you're, against you're, yourself. Well, my answer is you're equating morality, that, private morality, with public uh, norm, normative laws. It's a contradiction okay. in your thinking, and I'm bringing it out clearly for everyone to see. You, you say that this is a principle that's an irreducible primary that it's I, ne a, I never said that under all context that. every context you should not initiate force no matter what if you're going to die that. if you're going to die I never go said ahead that. and die but don't that's, violate that, individual that's rights. dishonest I never said that I did that's Did dishonest you, but, course, well but you say you don't know maybe uh, no, you ask me what so I maybe you would situation and I think you haven't specified the context enough for me to answer the question, and well, I don't know. I, 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 I give you, I'm giving you a few uh, scenarios. Either the, they're all the same category. Okay? Why don't you asking, tell me whether you think? He's asking, for question. instance, if a person is starving and he can't afford, let's say, to buy an apple from the supermarket, is it justified to take it so he doesn't starve? Right. Right. Okay. 
And I don't know because that's not the domain of political that, ethics. Political ethics is about what the laws should be. Should there be a law against theft? Should there be a law against rape? Should there be a law against murder? Even though in some cases you, Jan, Hellfeld, or Daniel, or me might find ourselves in a case where we want to commit murder or rape or robbery. You, we're talking about the morality of the issue. Is it wrong for him to do that? Should he steal no, the apple not, or not? We're not. We're talking about whether the law is you just said, a No. You That's would different. like him not to steal the apple and follow the moral principle that you view as an absolute under every in every I, I country. Never, I never said that. That that's a correct. Well, what is it that I you're suggesting said. that you don't have an answer for him, whether it's right or wrong? You say you should adhere to the non-aggression principle, no, and then when I, I never, present I never you, said that either. I never said that either. You don't adhere to the non-aggression principle. I didn't say that either. So you're putting words in so my mouth. So you either do adhere to it or you don't. I think the non-aggression principle should be a model for what laws should be enacted in a society. But you, well, guess that, what? That doesn't we mean agree. that doesn't mean that's not the question. Uh, that we well, guess what? That? We agree, and it, and in a limited government, that it is a model. Let, let me ask you a question. And so, but you, but the point is, is it morally wrong for someone to violate the non-aggression principle under extreme duress? I don't know. What you do don't you know. Well, you better figure it out because your life might well, depend well, on it. Well, you better figure it out. You're the one in favor of the no, state. No, I, I already figured it out, and I was up front and told you. I'm not going to uh, – when if I am starving, I'm going to steal the apple, and I'm going to make the case to the jury. Look, I was starving. If you want to put me in jail, fine, but my choices were to die or steal the apple, and so I stole the apple. What do you want me to do? And so, any reasonable so, so person the, would know the answer to that question. It wouldn't start, but apparently you haven't thought through your ethics. That's why you don't know the context in which the non-aggression principle was formed. You don't know that it's a contextual absolute, not an absolute in every circumstance. So whenever somebody uh, is going to deviate from the principle of non-aggression, you think, oh, this is a horrible person. He might uh, harm my children or steal I my stuff. I never said that. that yeah, that, that's that. exactly what you said about me. No, it's not. Well, no, take a that, look that's at that. That's a correct man. You said you had to worry about me stealing stuff from your kids. Don't you remember? <laughs> well, I think that people like you are in uh Oh, you come to anonymous. I'm not hearing any more anonymous. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Again, you're mispronouncing it. It's not an ad hominem. No, it's more anonymous. <laughs> It's ad hominem, not ad hominem. I mean, you're, it's just, you're just oh, mispronouncing great. it. All right, whatever. It's an insult. You like that word better? It's not an insult. It's, it's basically, you, you, you brought, it, uh, brought it up, not me. I'm just saying you're in between a mainstream person and a radical pro-property rights individualist like me and Daniel and like most libertarians nowadays, and you guys are basically the old wave, and to be honest, <laughs> old fashioned. Um, right? <laughs> well, I can't wait for you guys to die out and for, for the next <laughs> one or two or three generations to come up. You wait for 99% of the population to die out that, that disagree with you and hate anarchy because it clearly, for the reasons I stated, will make the initiation of force more prevalent, more will make your life more risky. And put your life and property at risk. Yeah, for yeah, fine. It's, 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 yeah, 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 you yeah, want, yeah. You don't want to refute those reasons. Well, you you're, just you're, want to say, I don't have a position. I don't know what will happen. That's totally irresponsible. Your, your little state has not secured my life, liberty, and property. No, it was the founding fathers that gave you the chance. And we yeah, are the founding you, fathers who were racist. You don't feel any gratitude towards them either. Yeah, the founding they, fathers they created, they, That's right. They created a society where there was more freedom and opportunity and prosperity. What are you and, talking about? Are you just some, some stupid objectivist who believes all this crap? I mean, the founding fathers were you, racist. Can you talk without insulting people? Not people that don't deserve being insulted, no. <laughs> so, uh, Daniel, I thought you said this guy was laid back. <laughs> all he does is insult. And he doesn't like the way I say it. Well, you, you're supporting the founding fathers. Are of you course kidding? I am. I, I, of course I am. I'm grateful to them. Not like Why? you. You, well, uh, 
I guess you don't have, guess you're not black. You don't have black children. Their courageous defense of uh, a God new sick. experiment in political theory, which was a great success, and oh, you're really? you're yeah, getting the benefit from it. Anyway, um, uh, are you willing to answer any of my questions or not? You don't have any I questions. Have a lot of questions, you, you, and I think uh, I'm going to help you think through your ethics if you if you want me to. Uh, and I'll do it for you. I, th I think you're good against Nancy Pelosi, but against real libertarians, you look like... I don't care whether I'm good or, or not. It's not about who's good or not. Actually, I know you don't care because you're just... The uh, format like, that is you agree to... Are you going to answer my questions? Because I have more questions for you, and you won't answer what will happen, and neither did... Uh, the moderator. Well, you don't want me to answer uh, What will happen if you don't they want me have no question. nuclear weapons? Well, I'm not going to do that. Look. I know. Uh, next time, uh, I should have debated you because you're willing to answer questions and you don't use that animal. Stefan will not answer questions and he, all he likes to do is insult the opponent. Fine. I'll and, I, you know, I don't want to break might the be a better I won't answer question. these questions, but I would if you want me to. But anyway. No, I will, next time, I'll just do a debate with you and we'll get some answers. But okay. Are you going to answer any of my questions? Uh, should I ask another one? You don't want What's to answer going? about the nuclear weapons. If they don't have any nuclear weapons, what they would do when they receive an extortion threat, right? Well, I would ask you, what's the point of the question? So you ask, you, that's how you answer questions with a question, huh? So, you, yeah, so well, I, I don't give you any questions. Depending on what the, where, like where I'm you. leading you, you, you answer you can't answer the question straightforwardly. I, I don't. I don't respond to loaded questions. No. Oh, okay. So you you reserve the right to answer questions that you want and others well, that you since, don't want. Well, that's since, yeah. Since and I'm that's not against the rule. Aggressive against you. That's against the rule. The right. yeah. And apparently, uh, Daniel will not insist that you answer the question, which is his job. I've his said job it a few times. I don't know how many times you want me to say it. I I. I mean, I I think you should answer the question. I'm not sure what the point of the question is. Myself. That's irrelevant. Um, uh, this well, could be a big surprise for both an anarchists. But <laughs> I, I answer the question. I mean, come on. I think you know. A, a respectful debate is where people answer questions, even if your personal view is that it's an irrelevant question, and if you don't think it's a necessary question, maybe you know explain why. That's fine. Uh, I I refuse to engage in equivocation and to answer loaded questions, which have the answer already built into the question, which is I think what Jan's doing because that's all his answer? type has know. to do. How how are they equivoc How are they equivocations or loaded questions? Maybe maybe you can answer that. Because he's 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 setting up a system where um, we have to imagine a world governed by states and what's the right policy, right? And he's imagining a world where private societies are threatened by states, which he supports, um, how they would respond. The only question, in my view, is, is aggression justified, and does the state commit aggression? And he has not yet tried to answer those questions. And no, if he won't answer those very simple questions, I will not answer his loaded questions. You didn't say what was the equivocation. You don't even know what an equivocation is. You said you do know because I heard you say before. And what is the word that I use in two different senses? There was nothing there equivocating. Jan, is aggression justified or not? <laughs> Simple question. You, I, you asked me that question and I answered it before. What's the answer? Now it's my under answer. extreme duress. Yes, right. What? Uh, I think I, that's your answer, right? Under situations of extreme duress, it's justified to use aggression. Is that is that your answer? Under extreme duress, yes. And uh, and you see, I answer his questions, but even he won't answer mine. Okay. So, I don't think he didn't answer the second on. part of the second part, but he did answer the first. So the second part is, do you no, think the uh, state necessarily commits aggression? No, no, but this is like, uh, in other words, I'm going to answer his question and he won't answer oh, mine. God, is that so. the rule, the new rule? I can't control what other people do. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the best that I can. I want, I want, I want to have a forum where we can debate ideas. Um, I, you know, um, I can't what? control.
What that depends people? on a person following the rules that he agreed to. If a people aren't willing to do what they agreed to, and then when you amend the format to their suiting, they still don't agree, then what can you do? So if Stephen Kinsella doesn't agree to the debates uh, with, a, with, a, with a statist uh, faux anarchist libertarian, um, that means that the state's justified, and uh, so that's your argument. Oh, we could find yeah. out. Uh, if, uh, if the, we could find out if a limited government is better than no government. If you would follow the format and answer the questions responsibly, responsibly, not answer a question or a question, with a question. and uh, and, uh, and, my, and the court, and the court, if you don't answer, or answer that, I know that you won't even say up front. You're not going to answer. Answer. So the uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, the limited I government. I have a lot of interesting here. questions here. Do you want uh, me to ask them to you, and if you want to answer any of them? <laughs> I've got a couple more minutes. Go go ahead. I'm I'm willing to listen to your honest. So you, we'll pick and choose which we'll ones we want to answer. answer. Yes, I will pick and choose. <laughs> <laughs> wow! It always it astounds me the the, the the sense of, uh, of uh, fairness. Okay, here's a here's a question. Question: Do you think criminal you think criminal individuals are not organized, not organized as well as as well as? What? There's an echo on your end, Jan. No. No. Okay, here's a question. Question: Under the under the no government no government scenario, the one the one that you are defending. You are defending do you think criminal think gangs criminal will attack individuals that are not organized, not organized as well? Purity, they consider weaker or weaker. Okay, I think I heard most of that. Um, first of all, as I said earlier, I'm not opposed to government, but opposed to the state. So let's be clear about that. Are we clear about that? In the scenario where there is no state, what, you, uh, what I call what government, the government, the government, the government, the government, the government state, Will criminal, Will criminal gang attack individuals attack that are not organized, organized, not organized security, security agency, agency that, are that are weaker than themselves? Than themselves. There's some kind of echo here going, going on. on. There's a technical it's issue. Technical issue. It's, I think it's only when I speak and I speak and I speak. So I think it's so I think it's And uh, am, and, uh, I, am uh, I speaking or not? Speaking or not? Yes. Okay. Okay. I think that. I think that uh, in a in a in a future private law society where the state has been abolished because most people realize that it's illegitimate, that um, you will still have uh, private crime but not public crime, and therefore any type of crime you can imagine would be possible. So, yes, it's possible that private crime can occur. In a free society, but that's not a good thing. That's actually the reason that we libertarians, which is people like me and Daniel, but apparently not like you, actually oppose what we call aggression, and we're against crime, okay, except so when there's you. extreme duress or whatever you're going to call it now. So, so okay. we actually oppose the private well, crime that well, you're setting up as the boogeyman, and you apparently… Don't because maybe you need to rape and kill people because maybe there's duress well, or something. To, uh, well, to go ahead. Make sure that I understood your answer. You think that some criminal gangs will sometimes attack security agencies no. that they see that are weaker than themselves. No, I said it's possible. Crime is possible. That's possible. Okay. Well, Inju so justice this, is possible. This, this, I didn't say they will do uh, it. Is, so you would, so you think they won't? They won't. I didn't say that either. His answer, fact, I his answer is there's no sometimes. such thing as as everyone is going to behave and everyone's going to misbehave. Okay, okay, right. Hold on, hold on. Let me say okay. So do you think wait, some of these security? Wait, 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 Jan. Ten seconds. Hold on. I would just say that in your ideal society of two hundred. Or one thousand, or one government in the world, whatever you think is ideal, there's still going to be private crime that occurs on occasion. So even in your ideal society, and by the way, I would ask you that: How many governments do you think there's <laughs> going to be one world government? So go ahead. 
Look, I'm trying to ask you a question and see if I got the answer. Uh, uh, do you think the criminal gangs will attack individuals individual that are not are not as well as, as well as they consider weaker than them weaker than themselves? What criminal gangs? You said these criminal gangs. Which ones? Any criminal Any gang. Criminal gang. Which ones? Anyone Any that agrees that, that, agree that there would be a criminal gang. Criminal gang. No, or I didn't. Not, not. Oh, so you think there I would be criminal, criminal, criminal gangs? I said there could be. Well, so you have no so idea whether there would or there wouldn't be. Yeah, I, I can't predict the future. You don't know, in other words, you don't know in, under an anarchist scenario whether there will be DROs, whether there will be criminal gangs, or anything else. Or anything else. Yeah, I know, I, know, I know it really bugs you, objectivists, that we can't figure out exactly what the hell life's going to be like. We oh, can't well, I can it. tell you for but sure. I will, I will tell you this. If, if we have no rape and no robbery, guess what that means? There's no rape and robbery. Now, what would a society look like with no rape and robbery? I don't know, Jan. Maybe you can predict it, but I can't. Why don't you tell me what a society with no rape and robbery is going to look like? Why don't you tell me? <laughs> What's it going to look like in 30 years? If we I have never said that there was a society with no rape and robbery, and I don't, I don't believe Yeah, of course you not. didn't because you, you, su you support the state, which is going to rape and rob people. No, oh, boy. Anyway, oh, so yes. you don't want to really uh, follow the format of me asking a question and you answering. You want to I don't want to follow the format of a state right. that's yeah. trying to so, trap me so. into – Doing what you're doing. No, I don't want Trapping to do you again. that. You agree to the format, Stefan. You, yeah, well, I agree with Stella, the status you. agree like you. to this format. Yeah, why don't you agree not to tax me and rob me? Why don't we uh, you tell you what? Agree I will agree. I'll, I'll, I'll well, answer your questions. You welched on the format, and that is a good insight into your character. Well, that's a good insight into your contract. I couldn't count on you doing what you say you were going to do. That, well, that's the real know, problem. I guess if I was a fake lawyer, I, I, I would do that too. Even though you are uh, being obnoxious and insulting me and anonymous, I will try to… It's not an homonym. I've told you five times. You're the word. There will be, there will be uh, security, uh, security agencies that will be attacked by people, attack by people obviously. And my question and my is, question is attack, will attack, some will of them fight back, back. back? Hey, Jan. Jan, let me tell you something. Um, number one, um, congratulations because you have won. You and your fellow status have won. You guys have control of the planet, so congratulations. I congratulate you. I don't, on I'm not, I've never advocated world property. government, and I don't have the control and, of any planet. planet. And the, the and governments yes, there, you are, do. there are quite different, are quite one different from the others. From the and and I, I have very no interest in continuing talking with you because… You basically have nothing positive to say whatsoever. You're defending the state. No, uh, okay, so, uh, so that was the… That was the I see. So you don't I want, so you don't uh, want uh, questions and… Uh, and uh, well, it's been uh, one hour and 43 uh, minutes, so I think that's been enough of you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, if, if well, you don't want to follow the format, format and you won't follow the revised format, revised format this time, this time, insulting and that on and that on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that that means the state's justified, Jan. That that's no, a that good that's job justifying the state. Willing, that just means that you're not willing to discuss the reasoning, and you're not willing to willing to examine the concept the consequence of or it could, uh, or it could mean that I'm tired of being of no government, and that's why the people don't want it. Or it could mean that I'm tired of being the obvious the obvious consequences of not having a government. Our gang warfare, and I'm leading you through why it will occur. Oh, yeah, Jan. We're all against gang warfare. Yeah, that's a really strong way to start with this. That's why taxation is justified. That's why your little Hamiltonian, Jeffersonian government of white racists is justified because you think gang warfare is not justified. You're just a little stupid. Gang warfare woman. is worse than the scenario we have now, which is a mixed economy. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is what you're in favor of, dude. Even with all its faults, it's better than gang warfare. How do you know? How do you know that? How do you know that? Honest, honest question. How do you know that? That's what I was explaining to you, but you won't even. No, no, no. You didn't explain. I'm asking you a question. You can't 
you can't foresee the natural no, consequences of not having you know? done. How do you know? That's my because question. Because you won't answer, you know? and you say you don't know. You don't know. So because Stephanie Kinsella won't answer questions, know. you know. Right. I don't know. So in other words, you've been, you've been yeah. a status for 30 years because I won't answer questions in 2014, right? What? No sense whatsoever. I'm asking you a question. How do you know that this gang warfare you're talking about is this huge bugabear that is a threat to human civilization? How do you know that's what, what's okay, really okay, going to result and we don't have a stake? I, I told you I that told people you. will naturally, naturally form part, form of, part of security alliances, alliances to protect their individual their rights if there is no For God's sake, or, can you just answer you a question about not? reading yeah. something? Do you agree with that or not? Why is there an echo? I don't know. I think it's only on your end. It's only on your end. Yes, I think people will form alliances. Go ahead. Well, before, about five minutes ago, you didn't know. Okay, great. Okay, great. No, that's bullshit. I didn't say that. That's a lie. That's totally dishonest and a lie. You said that you I'm didn't very, know any DRO. I'm or? very precise. I am not goaded into loaded questions, and I don't answer you questions. Said that you that didn't loaded. know there was any DROs. Because you had a loaded question with a bunch of assumptions, <laughs> and that's completely wrong what you just but said. Just, uh, in the future, can you just answer the questions instead of criticizing the question? Well, the question? There's no hey, way. This? In, the future, in the future, can you stop advocating taxation? <laughs> of me? How about that? I advocate taxation. If you do that, we have a deal. How about that? service for the government. <laughs> Why don't you stop advocating taxation? Do we have a deal okay, or not? So yes or no? I'm, I'm going to answer. Will, will, will you condemn taxation right now? Yes or no? Will I condemn taxation? Yes. Will, I, will you forswear will taxation? I will condemn redistributive taxation and taxation. No, um, no, no. no. Taxation. But now I won't condemn taxation that okay. uh, well, requests. Then, then, okay, you don't want to hear the answer. Then it's okay. uh, I already told well, you. Well, the answer is my money is taken from me every April 16th, motherfucker. Do you understand? And, That's and the you, answer. And, okay, so so can he continue with obscenities and, uh, and uh, in this debate? Well, if you can take my money, I can, you, I can have obscenities. Because moderator, have you agree, it's, it's, it's you agree that he – that. Insults and obscenities will not be allowed in the debate. You're not enforcing. Well, what about what about advocating uh, coercion against the other guy in the debate? Is that permitted? <laughs> I, I, look, I, I don't think. Yeah, it's it's really fun. It's really funny that I paid more in taxes last year than you've probably made in your life. Oh okay. boy, well, that, so that's, I that's really funny. I, 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 I said funny. Engage in a civilized debate that we should not have name calling. I I don't know how many times I don't know who you are. Well, uh, I'm getting it. I'm getting it anyway. So, okay, so, okay. Kinsella well, won't answer. Kinsella won't answer. The, 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 the uh, 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 calling me, calling me, uh, calling me, uh, calling me, murder. Yeah, Kinsella is Kinsella is totally yeah, irrational for not wanting to be stolen from. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah, yeah. And he 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 wants to take me. I'm crazy. The IRS out against me when I'm the only guy that's helping him. You're, you're not against the IRS. <laughs> right. You want to oppose the IRS. You want, it, you, you want to post taxation. The IRS under control. He's not doing anything to do that. So Why he's don't you oppose taxation? Anyway, so… Why don't you oppose taxation? Uh, if, Fake, you know, fraud. You're not as, a libertarian. As I Why said, don't you oppose taxation, you, know, you liar? Uh, format and, and not even the amended format. We do what you want still. I, I oppose the IRS. How about that? Oppose the federal government. Hey, so anyway, uh, I guess you better schedule a debate with somebody who's willing to answer questions that won't. And there's the rules in there when when you're supposed to answer the question. And I said he didn't answer. And he's supposed to tell me what's a tell me what's a no, and he wouldn't. He just said he won't answer. He won't answer. So he just gonna. Why, why don't you just say you're against taxing me? By the IRS. Why don't you just say that? You think the IRS shouldn't tax me? You, you are, uh, uh, what are you talking about, man? Uh, man uh, you, you just, you just said you, you, you are, just said you just said you think the federal government should tax people. Should tax? You didn't. You interrupted me in the middle of my statement. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. I see. Well, that's not uncommon. That's what you've been doing the whole debate. I explained to you that people that think 
that they need a government in order to have a protection of their individual rights. Have a right and do and smartly and intelligently do. Form a that is dedicated to protecting the individual rights of their citizens. And when that social institution performs that function, and and access them access only them for that only purpose. for that purpose. They are not being aggressed. They are not being aggressed. The people are the right. The people are doing. right in doing. And they and will have. They will have a better a and better and happier life. That life. Is, that they is, live. They live in anarchy. In anarchy. You will expose thank, you thank, all the things that, that, that you don't okay, want. Fine. 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 You, you monopolize the microphone. Not consider enough. them. That's why you we've won't have enough. Them. We've had enough of your status mouth. That's enough. Thank you for admitting that you're. Let's let's have some civilized. No, no, I am not going to be civilized with a guy like that. Thank you for admitting that you're in favor of taxation. Thank you for admitting that, uh, Jan. You at least admitted that you're in favor of the government taking people's money from them by force. At least you admitted that. Um, and if you can pretend to be a libertarian, despite this. Congratulations. I pity any libertarian who falls for your bullshit and nonsense. You are no worse. In fact, you are worse than any statist advocate of the state. Um, and I am – look, that's my opinion. That's another I'm, I'm welcome to my opinion, so you can said, shut the fuck up for a second. And then, uh, that I was and that I wasn't. It goes back and forth. Well, you're in favor of taxation. No, and, no, I told you under what circumstances I'm in favor of what taxation. Whatever, of, whatever, know, whatever. I don't care. You are my enemy. Services. You are my enemy, and if we ever have a war, I will I'm know your enemy. You wow, are. you don't so know the difference you. between your enemies and your friends. I'm the guy who's at the front line fighting for you. Yes, I do. Most of my enemies are not as confused as you are. Trying to prevent all the redistribution of wealth that's going on. So yeah. you won't you're, you're, them you're them a statist. You pretend you're like a libertarian. You pretend. You're okay. not a libertarian. Oh, you're a status. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you are. Okay. No, Stefan. Daniel, I, uh, he is. He's in favor of taxation. Okay, well. I'm not justifying state. any positions. What I am saying is that, that people have a view that they have in the point of a debate. I don't care about people's views, okay? If they leave me the fuck alone, that's fine. He wants to take my money from me, and Was that's it? not true. <laughs> Was there ever a point in your life? Funny, it's not funny, Jen. <laughs> was there ever a if, point in If, your if life? I was a loser like you, I would think it was a joke, okay? But if you make a lot of money, <laughs> right. oh, it actually oh, it actually matter. makes now makes a, a difference. <laughs> Stefan, was there ever a of point in your are. life where you support you taxation? You own you, you never you, ever. Nobody no, can ever, trust you, Cancilla, because you do not comply with your agreement. You are a welcher. You breach your agreement. You don't. You don't, uh, an agreement with you is worthless because you won't follow it. Follow you it. agree to think agree and you won't do that. You won't do that. Jan, do you even know what do you even do you even know what Rothbard's and, title and, contract and you, you don't have any integrity and you don't even realize that you've displayed that to everyone here on this video. That you yeah, so, are, so I'm willing so to I, comply I'm with the rules honest, that you but made. I'm not advocating taxation. Unlike you. So, do you think that Unlike you. all you can all think you about can is think taxation about and you can't – Hey, Jan, uh, Jan, you understand that your days are numbered. No one cares about you. Oh, dear. Are you a hitman? You are just a status. <laughs> no one cares about old washed, washed out losers like you. You understand that? Oh, more at Hanumums and everything. Not. Okay. It's then, not an hanumum. Uh, you can't even pronounce the word right. That Hanumums is willing true. to follow it's true. the format that they agreed, okay, because – this guy will not, and he, he you said he was laid back. Well, laid back, I don't know what that means. So, pe so people like me, we hang out with people that are actually successful, real people, or we hang out with principal people, not people anyway, like you. Anyway, uh, the, the, it's pointless at this point. Since um, uh, a person will yeah, not yeah. comply. Yeah, fuck off. Bye. Oh, more at Hanuman. Wow. <laughs> fuck off. You see, that gave you an insight. You did you know that he was like that? You didn't know, did you? Uh, I'm. You didn't know because now I hope that you at least gained an insight into his soul, what kind of person he is. I'm. And that is the only benefit that I see in this. Uh, I'm, truncated I'm upset space. that he did that. I wish we could have a civilized discussion. Uh, Ooh, yeah. I guess. Uh, get a better candidate. Yeah, you gotta get a better candidate, somebody who will uh, adhere to the format that won't involve, uh, won't engage in anonymum, yeah. and 
it doesn't get so angry at somebody who isn't even doing anything to him. My God, right. he's got well, an anger problem. Well, I, 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 I through all the people watching this. You would I be think willing we to have a, a civilized discussion. Uh, so sorry. Okay.